Pro Football Talk Live here at the league meetings in Arizona. And right out of the gates, one of our good friends, corporate cousin, our brother in arms with NBC Sports Boston.com, Synergy Out the Wazoo. Mm-hmm. He is a very casual Tom Kern. You got the right idea with shorts, man, because let me tell you, it's a little warm here. Well, you're over here in your Wranglers. I'm not sure it's exactly <laughs> what we were looking hey, for. Hey, man, Brett Favre's the pitch man for Wranglers, or at least he was. That's when I bought my Wranglers. What am I supposed to do? This guy, he's in the desert with Wranglers and work boots on. I, I don't want to get I don't want to get bit by a rattlesnake. All right, fair enough. So uh, it's great to see you as always. Uh, second time in in less than a week that we've spent time together. I don't know that I can handle any more than that. But on on more far more serious subjects, uh, Robert Kraft, owner of the Patriots, won't will be here at the league meetings. Won't be speaking. Mm-hmm. Issued a statement on Saturday to kind of address what he believed needed to be addressed. What was your reaction to the statement that was issued? He was trying to thread the needle between apologizing while not claiming any responsibility that would impact the case as he still tries to wriggle out of not just the charge but also having that video released so he's in a fine spot do you think the video would be released at some point yes okay and part of me thinks he should do a jeff bezos move and say i don't care here it is take a look you all want to see it go ahead but that's for another conversation i think on the reaction to it from my end i understand why he was anxious to have his voice out there and I don't blame him for that. He's been a very out front and outspoken owner over the course of time. He's developed a relationship with the region and with so many different aspects of the region in terms of philanthropy that you have to say to people, look, I'm not blind to this. I'm not just out here trying to fight this in court. I understand that the optics and the things that this reflects upon me aren't good. But on the other hand, too, I think that he has to try and maintain a level of, I don't know if it's... Non culpability. Yeah, He's well, asking us to suspend disbelief right. that this was not an illegal act. As a former lawyer, I see what he said, and I look at that, and I say, why even issue anything? Why acknowledge responsibility? Why apologize for anything? Because if this does go forward, if there is at some point a trial, they can use anything that, that you say against you, even if you don't testify. They could just issue the statement. What's he apologizing for? You right. know, and, and so you have to be very careful that you're not apologizing for violating the law and and, and anything like it I just don't like I I don't like anything other than pending resolution of the criminal proceeding I have nothing to say and 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 I I understand nobody would fault him for that but I think that yes I think that the drip 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 of court appearance attorney statements sheriff statements all of that eventually builds up to a point where you have to say something in return. Look, no, maybe what he didn't do was illegal. It was a fit of passion. The two women on consecutive days couldn't help themselves, and Robert just went over and they had a nice talk, and he paid him back some money that he owed him for lunch. Um, maybe that's what happened, apparently. That's what their contention will be. However, I do think that you can acknowledge that, you know, heading over to the strip mall and having a tryst in the afternoon on consecutive days isn't exactly what people expected of you. So I understand apologizing for the optics of it. But I, what, what I didn't love about the statement was invoking um, Myra Kraft, his widow. And I understand that since her passing in 2011, Robert has gone through a, a difficult time, a sea change personality-wise. He's experiencing a world that he didn't know prior to his marriage. And in many ways, it's been life all always it's been life altering for him but i just don't think that a statement addressing charges for solicitation of prostitution is the right place to invoke the memory of your late wife that that i had very strong feelings that that was a tremendous misstep on on his part and i think you're putting it as mildly as you possibly can because he's opened himself up to criticism from any and all blogs out there, anybody yeah. in the media, once we, we get to the weekday, uh, morning drive, afternoon drive, evening drive, everything, people are just going to, I just, that extra addition gives you gives you fodder if you're inclined to heap on Robert Kraft and, and find something to pick at. That, that's the lowest hanging fruit that I think you could possibly yeah, have. Yeah, I mean, you can, uh, the points about respecting women and uh, understanding that transactional sexual relations are have inherent levels of power involved in them in which the person doing the serving is not in a position of power. That's okay. You can get through that. I think that there's just as many people out there who are in the sex trades, and I've read about it, who are sex workers who say, look, don't shame us. We do this out of our own volition. And that element is very much there as well that we haven't you know, delved into. But 
but, in but what, this but, in this arena, it's different. Go ahead. Right, but I mean, he he isn't necessarily apologizing for soliciting prostitution because he hasn't admitted to that. Yet. Correct. And they have to prove all of that. That's why it's better to just. And that's nothing. why he's asking us to suspend all it's, disbelief. It's just, I think it would have been better that better than the statement that was issued would have been saying nothing. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.